A very good afternoon to you from the sports desk. Let's start here. German football club DSC Amina Belfield, together with the South and uh, African uh, German Chamber of Commerce and Industry, will tomorrow donate soccer kits and food hampers to learners at uh, Tsunodzecha Public School in Gahiso Krugersdorf. It is expected that 20, 250 kits and hampers will be handed over to the learners, while more than 130 learners will participate in football tournament. We joined uh, in studio by former Bafara Wafana and Marisbeck uh, winger Delron Buckley and uh, Southern African. African German Chamber of Commerce and Industry Head of Marketing and PR, Nikita Vogel. Thank you very much uh, to the both of you for joining us. Thank you for having Thank us. You. All right, Darren, good to see you again. Um, I, I wouldn't let this one slide before we get into everything. Right. Your, your, your take on Bafana's performance um, yesterday against Morocco? It was fantastic to watch again. You know, when they beat uh, Morocco, I was in my glories because, you know, it, it was a chance to give our nation something to smile about. You know, mm -hmm. after all the criticism they got, all the games they were playing in, to win 2-1 against Morocco, I mean, what more can you expect? Yeah, and I mean, uh, what better way to finish the what qualifying to round finish? going Perfect. into yeah, the, the Africa Cup of Nations. Fantastic. Uh, Nikita, let's talk about your involvement as a Chamber of Commerce uh, in, in football. I mean, uh, well, what, how are you involved in this project uh, with uh, Aminia mm -hmm. Bielefeld? So interesting, when the football world and the business world meet, exciting things happen. So we've actually been working together with Amelia Bielefeld for just over a year now. Um, they reached out to us last year, um, and we celebrated our 70th anniversary as the Chamber. And we thought, what better way is to bring them on board and actually collaborate. Um, so through the initiative of Amelia Bielefeld, we were able to raise actually the money for the soccer kids tomorrow. Mm. And I mean, looking at the, how important is it for business and, and football to, to partner, and not only at a high level, but also talk in development, because I think that's where the main focus is. Yes, I think looking at, especially Youth Month this month, um, it is so important to look at a sustainable future, and that's also the topic that's driving um, Youth Month this month. So looking at only um, the initiatives that we currently have with Amelia Bielefeld, we also need to look at the bigger picture. And with our competence centers of the companies that we work with, um, we have identified that there are so many more initi initiatives out there that actually support and drive sustainable future. Um, I mean, just to name a few, um, if we look at circular economy, for example, that is such an important topic currently, a hot topic. And... Um, that can only support our future and our generations to come. Darren, just bringing you in from a football perspective, the last time you were here we spoke about it and just on the issue of unearthing talent. But how important is it for you as a uh, former international uh, Bafana player who also had an opportunity to play overseas, to be part of a project like this that uh, sort of gives back to the community but also uh, looking at unearthing talent as it were? Well, for me, it's very important because you just mentioned, you know, I played in Europe for 20 years. I know what it's like to play in the highest level. And here in South Africa, what is missing is that, of course, what we're talking about is development. You don't get the proper structure, the proper coaching, and so on. This is where all the business come into because for us to be successful on helping kids here in South Africa, you need the business corporates to come in and help. A beautiful can't do it by themselves, you know. It's not rocket science, you know, because... Mm. When you, when you go out and uh, you, you coach these kids or you coach the coaches or you try implement on, on what we learned in Germany being a footballer, you know, you get a lot of smiles on your face. You know, despite also uh, beautiful getting relegated in the third division, they're still going on with the projects. But it doesn't affect them of them getting relegated. They're not participating or, or going with their projects here in South Africa. They've been doing it for the past three years now mm. and they're going to keep on doing it. And this is... What, what puts a smile on my face, being an ambassador for Bielefeld, because I know the, the gap in between development, you know, how the kids learn, it's, it's, it's ignored. We need to close the gap, you know, to give these kids hope and put smiles on their faces. What does a day like that involve? I mean, we talk about the donation, but also there will be the football aspect of the whole thing, where there will be coaching kids. Just tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so when a Darren Buckley appears in, in front of all these kids, you know, they see, of course, a player that's playing for Bafana. A superstar. A superstar. <laughs> so that already, you know, they, the, 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 the kids are in their glories. You know, they're happy to see such a player. And we give them hope. You know, us celebrities that come here, football, we give them hope. And, of, you know, you're going to have kids tomorrow. I, I think it's about 150 kids, if I'm not mistaken, that we're going to give T-shirts to, you know, and just build up their motivation. And it's going to be a tournament in between 
the kids pen against each other. And if the winner of the tournament, we're going to coach them thereafter. So it's me and Sebastian Shech that's going to take the team that wins, and we're going to give them a proper coaching um, session on what they need to learn in an appropriate way. But from your perspective again, uh, Nikita, what other projects beyond this are you looking at? Because I understand this is uh, as much as uh, it's only been a year, but you're looking at the long term in getting involved in yes. schools and football. Just tell us a little bit more about some of the projects that you're looking at uh, um, in, in the near future. So we've actually been discussing a few upcoming projects um, with Amina Bielefeld. Um, I believe that these kids need to understand that South Africa is not the border. We, you know, soccer isn't just in South Africa. They have the opportunity, they have the skill set to really go out there. And now my task is to get businesses on board to be able to invest and support these initiatives. Um, so we're going to be looking at more activations such as these, mm. but also more business activations and business B2B meetings for Armenia Bielefeld to really, for businesses to see what are they investing, what are they doing for our community. Is, is business interested in development football? Because I find more often they would rather, um, you know, be involved at professional level. But you find that business shows that interest of being involved in development grassroots football. Yes, we do have a few companies lined up for B2B meetings, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, I mean, Bielefeld is coming soon again um, to have even more meetings. So yes, definitely, there is an interest. Darren, I asked you this the other time uh, you were here about the... And I know this is when you're talking grassroots, you're talking schools, this is raw talent. But in the bigger scheme of things, are we looking at... Uh, finding, you know, diamonds out of the rough in this grassroots level uh, who can go on and become superstars? Well, me being the ambassador for Bielefeld, I, I think there's, they won't close an eye if you find your next Darren Buckley or Benny McCarthy or Quinton Fortune running around you. You know, if I say, okay, there's a player that's capable to play in Germany, in the Bundesliga, whether it's regarding first, second or third, they won't close the eye. They'll probably take the, take the player and see what he's capable of doing. But as I mentioned, is that the gap in between, because mm -hmm. if you take, I would say, a 17-year-old development player from South Africa and a 17-year-old from Germany, it's chalk and cheese. Reason being because the coaching that a 17-year-old in Germany is, is getting is like on a higher level because the majority mm -hmm. of the coaches are all highly qualified. They have your UEFA A license. Where you have, yeah, in South Africa, the majority of the coaches are dads, fathers, uncles that are coaching these kids. They're not getting the proper training. So when that kid comes to the professional level, yeah. we as coaches must still teach the child how to trap a ball, how to play a diagonal ball. It shouldn't be the case. And this is why Bielefeld has come to South Africa to try and close this gap regarding if it's coaching kids or coaching coaches. Well, I don't know if uh, it's, it, it was right of you to say us co dads who are coaches. It's Father's <laughs> Day, so you have to be nice to us. But we're going to have to leave it there. Darren, thank you so much. Nikita, uh, thank you so much to the both of you for coming through. Uh, fantastic stuff uh, to see really business and football coming together and helping in development uh, of uh, South African football, especially looking at schools and grassroots level.